Hi, Doug from 10 Minute Amiga Retrocast here. Just to do a quick update to my last video about the update to 3.2.2.2, where Kevin Bryce, good buddy of mine, discovered that text edit and icon edit both ran incredibly slow with 3.2.2 installed, only on a 68,000 CPU or a slower 68020 or even a 16 megahertz 68030, he could see the difference. He traced it down to layout.gadget being the culprit. So he copied that over from his 3.2.1 disk onto his 3.2.2, fixed it for him. We're gonna test it right here and see if that's the solution. And if so, then we have a solution. This is our lovely Amiga 500 here. This is actually running at 21 megahertz, and you can still see the stutter in the mouse as the mouse pointer moves around. You can see it jerking like that. When we uh, focus on something else, like uh, this menu item here, absolutely perfect, 100%. We go back to text edit, highlight it, slow down. This is even worse at seven megahertz. Now let's put the, the patch on. So basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my new 3.2.2 install and I'm gonna tell it to show all files. We're gonna to go to classes, gadgets, and then we're going to go to uh, layout, which should be under L. Now, of course, you can sort these, make it easier. We're gonna rename that to dot old. So that's renamed. Now we're going to take my new copy which I have conveniently stored on this future sound disc. So we're gonna take a layout gadget, copy the 3.2.1 version over. Okay, and now we're gonna reboot and we're gonna see if it makes a difference. Now we have freshly booted on my Amiga, still running at 21 megahertz. And we're going to go into text edit with a new updated file and we're gonna see if the slowdown persists. And look at that. The mouse is absolutely working perfectly, just like it used to do. It is layout.gadget, which is the culprit. Replace it or back up your old one before you run the update and then rename it or just keep a copy of it. And that will solve the issue on 68,000 machines for at least this bug. Cool. And we all owe a big thanks to Kevin Bryce for taking the time to uh, isolate exactly which uh, gadget it is that was causing the problem and letting me know the devs are already aware of it and I'm sure they're working diligently 24 7 on it to get it fixed but at least we have a solution for this one thanks everyone this is Doug 10 minute Amiga retrocast eh you know the rest